Good morning creators, in today's video I'm going to show you how to build the original Fortnite map in UEFN. First you're going to open up the Unreal Editor and select blank. Uh, I'm going to name my project My VR Map. We are going to create this experience and wait for it to load. Once you have opened the editor, we're going to go ahead and delete these grids and open up content drawer and I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking. New folder. We're going to name this one content. Open it up. Inside of this, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call this one maps, which is going to store the images of the maps that we're using. And we're going to create a new material. We're going to call it M underscore map land. Map land. Uh, open up your maps and we're going to import our images. Uh, I'm using this website to collect these images. Um, and once I've opened them up, I'm just going to select all of them and directly import them into my folder. Once you're back in contents, we want to open up the material, move this tab up above, and first we are going to press down T and then left click to create a texture sample. Or to make it things easier, you can go into content drawer, open up your maps, and select the map that you want to use. For this example, I'm going to use the season 8 map. We're going to connect RGB to base color, and then right click and search for chord texture coordinate then you want to press down D and then left click to get a divide node connect texture coordinate to the A and connect that to the UVs you'll notice a slight change so the bigger this number is the bigger it'll map so the number you want to use to fit it properly is 2033 and that should map it correctly. We're going to save. We're going to open up the BR map. So now we're going to go into landscape mode. And inside of landscape mode, we are going to create a new one. Material is going to be our map land. The scale, we're going to set to 130. This is going to accurately scale with the map, because um, currently you cannot create that large of a map by default. You're going to select 127 by 127 quads, um, and make these numbers so that it's 2033 below. Then we're going to hit create, and it should import our landscape with the Fortnite map as our base. You may take a moment. And once you've got that done, we're going to head into selection mode, and you'll see you have a Fortnite map to scale. And if you want to verify the scaling of this, the block is 25 by 25, but I'm going to import a tilted mesh. In order to verify the scaling of this map, you can create a 25 by 25 grid, which is the size of the block, and place it along here. But for my purposes, I'm going to be importing the base of Tilted, since I already have that. Pretty simple. I'm going to paste it in. It's going to take a moment to load in. And see, that's it right here. I'm going to do it. But first, I'm going to try to copy the line. Just make sure. Make sure it's a little So I'm going to go here. And the verification is precise. Sorry about that. This one is okay. That's okay. Then we're done. You'll see, as a reference, press I just want to invert it. But here, see, it's a line of We tend to use such a structure this way, maybe not. Uh, but don't use it too well, so the vertical hang is starting. There you go. So it moves down, you'll see what that outlines. You'll see it fits the grid pretty well. Um, might not be exactly to scale, but it is very close, and that is sufficient. So, since I've proven that the scale of this map is very accurate, we're going to go back into landscape mode to start modeling the map. 
you'll see there are multiple options. We're going to go into sculpt mode. And you can even go into select mode. If you want to, like, example, work on a hill, you can go into select mode and select the general outline of the hill, like this. This, uh, this will help you only work on the hill rather than changing the landscape around it. You don't have to do this, but if this is a tool that will help you, then feel free to use this. Now, once you've done that, you want to make it a negative mask, so you can only affect this. Go into sculpt mode, and you can use various sculpting tools to change the landscape size. I recommend um, turning down the tool strength. Um, brush size will be pretty large, and you can create like this. And you just kind of go in, landscaping, and flattening. I recommend using buildings to determine where the height is so that it aligns on the grid. Um, so if you grabbed a floor piece, you can move it around to make sure that it's the right height. But you'll generally just go around and make sure that everything is to your liking. Um, if you are going to use flatten mode to make these hills a little bit, a little bit flatter at some points, I recommend selecting a point. And you can flatten around like that. So for example, this would usually be a flat location because there's a building there. Um, and so you can flatten the terrain however you want. Um, you can smoothen the terrain if you don't like the way it looks. If you want to make it a little bit smoother, you can smoothen it. And that is pretty recommended, I'd say. Um, make sure everything is smooth. And you'll see that the terrain is lining up. If you want to get rid of the mask, turn use region as mask off or you can clear region selection and then turn negative mask on so you'll see now we have a hill here it may not be perfect but you can start editing it to make it a little bit better the sculpting of the island is up to you so it's really up to you how you however you want to make the landscape look how accurate you want it to be is up to you but you can use these tools to your advantage. One thing to note is if you did not want to use this map, you can go into your content drawer, draw out your material, and you can select a different map by going to texture sample and selecting the sample you want. For example, I want the chapter one season one map. Make sure you save. And you'll see the hill fits neatly to where it was, and the surrounding locations are different. Now, of course, there are many more things to learn regarding landscaping, but I'm going to save that for my next tutorial, so make sure that you follow along and watch the next video to learn how to sculpt and paint general terrain tools.